UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak is under pressure from some of his own Conservative MPs over an effective ban on new onshore wind farms. More than 30 Tories are now believed to back an amendment proposed by the former Housing and Community Secretary Simon Clark, which the Labour Party says it will back as well. Since 2014, planning rules have in effect barred new onshore wind farms in England. And for more on this, we're joined now by our London correspondent, Alex Isaac. Uh, Alex, explain this uh, amendment from Simon Clark and, and what it means uh, and the implications for the government. Well, the implication, let's go for the implication for the government first, because already this dissidence is not looking good for the Conservative members. And Ipsos uh, poll came out and said that they are the lowest, their popularity has been in 15 years. And they keep with this infighting and this dissidence with inside internally, which is not looking good for the government itself. And it's also not looking good for those who are you know, looking to the future, because we're going to be looking at new boundaries and new MPs will need to be coming in. Will they choose? a Tory party. It doesn't really look like it at the moment if the popularity polls show that they are still falling in popularity. But when it comes down to, to uh, wind farms and onshore wind farms, well, what we do know is back um, when David Cameron was in charge, he did put this ban on new po uh, policies of planning for these new uh, offshore wind, onshore wind farms. So that would mean that it had to be allowed by the uh, community to be built. And if one person complains about the wind farms, then they wouldn't be built there at all. And now this potential is going to be continuing and we're going to still see a ban. Liz Truss herself did relax these rules when she was prime minister for that brief period. And she wanted to encourage an ease of policies in the, in the planning itself. But then Richard Sunak has said that he wanted to continue with this banning. But he at the moment has a 69, 69 members majority, which means he can push through his continued ban. Many people within his party have said that they are an eyesore on, uh, on the, com the ca country. And in fact, Boris Johnson, even though he is trying to overturn the ban, was one of those who did say himself that he didn't like the look of the wind farms as well. But Labour and those opposing the ban are suggesting that it's a quick and easy way to get renewables. But let's put this out there, that we do export some of our turbine and it turbine energy already. In fact, the UK exports 2.24 billion pounds worth of turbine energy. So bringing these new ones on, we may be adding to the fact that we need this extra electricity during the cost of living crisis. But if we are already exporting what's there, there has to be a little bit of a deeper look into why we're exporting so much. And maybe we can reuse what we have because it is coming down to these wind farms. They do just, like, take over the countryside potential farming lands and all of the policies that were going forward would need to really make sure that they're in the best place, maybe on brownfield sites. So there's a lot of discussions to happen rather than just having this quick U-turn by Rishi Sunak, which seems to be what some of the members are fighting for. Alex, thank you.